Are you sick and tired of not being able to express a spatial, temporal, or other relationship between nouns? Well, you're in luck. Your problems are over with prepositions, 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 pre 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 prepositions. Now in Spanish. Now you can express all sorts of relationships. The pig is under the sombrero. Yoder is on top of the man. The yoga ball is in front of the penguin. The money is behind the poster. The unicorn plate is next to the sock. The guitar is inside the freezer. The guitar is in the microwave. The guitar is in the draft. The tiger is close to Senor Cox. Summer is far from our thoughts. And dozens more. What are you waiting for? Give us your money today. Now's the time where you get out your notes paper and start jotting down. Here's our topic, preposiciones, and our essential question. How do I express the relationship between two things, Senor Cox? Because yes, I do know you've been wondering. And we're going to use my good buddy Dwight Schrute to demonstrate some of these prepositions and you can get them down in your Cornell Notas. Here we go. Pause it until you got these down and then let's go. First one. And, well, it's an all-purpose preposition. It means on or in. In this case, en la caja, in the box. And here's a, oh my goodness, speaking of, Dwight is en la caja. We could also use another preposition, dentro de, which means inside of, dentro de, or into. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, de means of or from. It's kind of abstract, so I don't have a picture here, but you know, it gets used for both. Again, another all-purpose one, of or from, de. All right, here's Dwight. He is close to the box. Pretty close, that is. So, cerca de, close to, cerca de. Dwight is cerca de la caja, close to the box. All right, here he is, far from it, lejos de, far from, lejos de. All right, oh, well here Dwight is al lado de la caja. Next to, that's right, next to, al lado de. Lado means side, so to the side of. All right, this one, Dwight, is, oh, look at that, he's debajo de la caja. Underneath, debajo de. Here we go. Encima de, Dwight es en, está encima de la caja. He's on top of the box, encima de, on top of. Oh, here we go. Delante de, or enfrente de, either one will work. Notice how the text is delante de, Dwight. <laughs> enfrente de, delante de, they both mean in front of. Delante de, enfrente de, in front of. And oh, here we go, detrás de. Notice how now the text is detrás de, Dwight. Oh, oh. So clever, Mr. Cox. Uh, detrás de, of course, means behind. Detrás de, behind. Make sure you've got those preposiciones down and bring them to class mañana.